everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is a Saturday night, and I was like, what can I do for a video? Then I remembered that I was tagged to do a Q&A, so I can't think of anything that I'd like to do more right now than just sit here and answer some questions. Very easy. I was tagged by Sharon Wise, and I will have the questions down below if you also want to do this video. And I know Courtney with Love has already done hers. I don't know if anybody else from the peanut gallery has done it yet. But for sure, if you do it, let me know, and I'd be glad to see your answers. And you can go watch Sharon's and Courtney's. I will have them linked below. Okay, a lot of questions, but they're easy. Yes and no kind of answers. I'll try not to get wordy. <laughs> have I ever been married? Yes. Ever been divorced? No. Ever fell in love? Jeez, I hope so. Yes. Ever go on a blind date? I'm going to say yes. Oh, I have to elaborate on this one. I used to work for Domino's Pizza, which is by the fire station. And there was a cute fireman who would always wave to me when I would go in and out of the building. Out of the blue, one day I get a call from someone at the fire station asking me out on a date. And I was like, huh? How did you get my number? And he's like, well, you know, I have ways that I can get people's phone numbers. So I was like, well, I thought that was a little bit weird. And I was like, are you the guy that I always say hi to? And he's like, yeah. So I was like, okay, sure. And the man who showed up at the door was not the one that I thought it was going to be. He was, uh, well, I mean, it's not that he wasn't good looking. It's just, it wasn't what I expected. It was a complete stranger. I had never seen this person before. And in those days I was a party girl, drank, smoke. He didn't let me do any of that stuff. I didn't see him again. It was a boring date. Poor guy. <laughs> okay, that was my blind date. Ever skip school? <laughs> yeah, a lot. Ever watch someone give birth? Not in person. I've watched kitty cats be born. Ever watch someone die? Yes, my father. I was right there with him. Ever been to Canada as a baby? Ever ridden in an ambulance? Yes. Ever been to Hawaii? No. Don't care to go. Ever been to Europe? No. Don't care to go. Ever been to Nashville? Yes, because my son lived in Nashville. He's in Memphis now. I like Nashville. Ever been to Mexico? I think one time when I was visiting my brothers in Houston that we went to Mexico. I don't know if we actually made it across the border. I mean, I don't remember if we just got close to it, but so that's a, I don't know. Ever seen the Grand Canyon in person? Yes, I have. It's quite amazing. Ever flown in a helicopter? No. Ever been on a cruise? Not on a, like, a typical cruise ship. No. Been on boats. My father's lobster boat. Absolutely love that. That is enough of a cruise for me. I just felt so special on that stinky old lobster boat. Ever served on a jury? No. I've never been called for jury duty. Ever been in a movie? Nope. Ever dance in the rain? Oh, I'm sure. Ever been to Los Angeles? No. New York? Yes, I have been to New York. More than once? No, I think maybe just once. Ever played or sang in a band? Other than Glee Club? No. Ever sang karaoke? No. Ever laughed so hard you cried? Yes, I've also peed. <laughs> Ever caught a snowflake on your tongue? Absolutely. Ever had a pet? I have had pets all my life up until the past, like, three years, and now it's just too much to take care of with my mother, too, and and I, I don't like losing pets anymore. I can't. I can't take it. So, no pets now, but I've always had pets. Ever been sledding on a big hill? Yes. Got into a sledding accident once with, I think there were four or five of us on a toboggan, and... Uh, a couple of the girls ended up in the hospital, just sliced up from the ice. It was Beaver Hill, and we came down on a sheer sheet of ice, and I was on the back. So when I came off, I came off, I don't know, but I, like, just bounced. But the others, the way they flew, they all flew in face first. Some had gashes all on her face. Oh, it was, it was scary. Um, ever been downhill skiing? Yes, I have. Ever been water skiing? Yes, I have. And I actually got up on the skis. That was uh, many pounds ago. Ever rode on a motorcycle? Yes. Ever jumped out of an airplane? No. And no desire to ever do that. 
Ever been to a drive-in movie? Yes, we had a drive-in theater right here in Sanford. Ever rode a camel? I think I might have. In all the years, we used to go to all the zoos and circuses and wherever a camel might be. I know I've ridden an elephant, so I probably have ridden a camel. Ever rode a horse? Yes. Ever been in the newspaper? Yes. Ever stay in the hospital? Yes. Donate blood? Yes. Ever gotten a piercing? Yes. I have my ears pierced. Tattoo? No. Ever driven a stick shift? Yes. Don't like it, but I have. Ever been scuba diving? No. Snorkeling? The snorkeling in my swimming pool that we used to have count? I don't think I've ever been snorkeling other than in the swimming pool. I used to feel like I was in paradise in that swimming pool. I mean, it, seriously. <laughs> ever rode in the back of a police car? I have, but not because... Or did I? I know I was in the back of the police car once when my windshield got broken and it was cold and I don't know, but I've never been arrested, you know, so not it for that reason. Ever gotten a speeding ticket? I have. Ever broke a bone? That's funny, I was thinking of that today, that I've never broken like a bone that required a cast, but I did break my pinky toe. Had to change cameras, that one's battery was dying. Okay, broken a bone, I broke my baby toe, and that hurts still to this day. It was, I broke that when I was in my 20s, I'm in my 50s, and it still bothers me. Never really was right after that. Ever had stitches? Yes. I had a C-section, so I had stitches for that, and then I had a hysterectomy, had stitches for that, or staples, I think, for that one. But when I was, see, when I was in fifth grade... I had a boy that I liked, and I did something. I don't know if I like, punched him in the arm or, you know, just, you know, one of those awesome ways to tell a boy you like them. And then I was drinking at the water fountain, and he hit me over the head with a book to pay me back. And the water thingy cut my eye here, so I got stitches for that. Ever travel alone? I do travel alone to go visit my son and my granddaughter, but I have never traveled alone to just like be at the destination alone, I don't think. Can't even imagine that I would want to do that. All right, that is it. Those were kind of fun to answer. So if you want to give it a try, like I said, I will have all the questions down below. If you do it, let me know and I'll link back to you and I will also link to Sharon Wise. Thank you, Sharon, for tagging me. I, I really liked this one. And I will also link you to Courtney and to anyone else if you've done it and you want me to link back to you, let me know and I will. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!